Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the four last things. Death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode, we talked about how trustworthy the angels and saints are. This time, if you're in heaven or hell, how would you experience time? Would you? The answer to this question will depend on what theory of time you believe in. At the moment, there are two which have some degree of support. The tense theory of time, or the A theory, and the tenseless, or B theory. On the A theory of time, time actually is exactly what it looks like. Only the present is real, and the past and future don't really exist. The B theory of time, by contrast, is that all times are equally real, past, present, and future. They all really exist. If the A theory is correct, it's a little hard to see how eternity would work. If it were the same as time, it would just consist of a single moment, the present, so there wouldn't really be any difference between eternity and time, except that the lifespans of those in eternity would be greater. Then again, can we really talk about lifespans if there's no past and no future? Even that might not be a difference between eternity and time. The B theory, I think, makes more sense. On this theory, God timelessly interacts with every point on the timeline at once. For example, writing the Ten Commandments on stone tablets, and also raising Jesus from the dead. The timelessness of God is the very thing that allows him to exist without requiring a cause of some kind. If God were ever truly temporal, he would need to have a beginning, since time itself had a beginning. Because of this, we can learn a lot about a timeless state of being from observing God. God is totally unchanging, for one thing. His nature always remains precisely the same. As it says, For I am the Lord, and I change not, and you the sons of Jacob are not consumed. Malachi 3.6 So God doesn't change. However, he does perform different actions at different points in time. This shows us two more things about him. 1. God is able to perform different actions in many different places and times without actually changing. 2. God is able to interact with individual points in time, despite being timeless. So it seems that a timeless being can interact with time just as freely, despite undergoing no inner change. So being eternal isn't like being frozen in time. In fact, in a certain sense, it's the exact opposite. Being frozen in time involves only one moment of time. Being eternal involves all of them. Next time, do the saints experience eternity the same way that God does? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.